Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got some strained sauerkraut. I've just taken it from a canned jar, so at this point it's ready to go. Just want to hit it with some salt and pepper, and we'll go ahead and just stir that in and move to the next step. I've got a couple slices of dark rye bread here. One of the first things you want to do is use some butter and get that spread over each slice. This is important because a Reuben is a grilled sandwich. And if you want to keep from making a mess, turn the butter slices in towards each other and stack them like this. Then add your Thousand Island dressing right on the top slice, followed by a slice of Swiss cheese. Now some folks like to use pastrami when they're making their Reuben sandwich, and others like to stay more traditional and use the corned beef. I'm going to go ahead and use both today, and add not just one, but two slices of each. I usually lay down the first slices all flat and smooth, and then ruffle up the third and fourth slice. That way I can still get my mouth around the sandwich. Now lay in the sauerkraut. Now you can pan fry this beforehand if you prefer. A little butter and sliced onions always good. Another slice of Swiss cheese. Then very carefully separate and lift the top slice of bread from the other one. And go straight to a hot pan and start to cook over medium heat. Add your Thousand Island dressing. Now the top slice of bread and we're off and running. You can flip it over after about five minutes of cooking and you gotta be gentle so it doesn't fall apart in your pan. There we go. As you can see it's nice and toasted. And after just a few more minutes you can go ahead and remove it from the heat. If you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, let's get this cut open for you. That's perfection. Now I like to just stack these up and go ahead and serve them on a plate. Make sure you sneak in a pickle and some potato chips. And there you have it. Reuben, right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.